Hey guys, what's going on? BSG bringing you another Grand Cross video. In this video, we're going to be going over Assault Esterosa's banner and what it's looking like. So by the time I put this video out, the banner is probably live. Um, I, I don't know if I'm just going to release this like right away. Maybe not. Who knows? But anyway, Global Players, we're getting this next week. So keep that in mind. We're getting this next week but this is pretty crazy um assault esterosa man he he's looking really really strong his banner on the other hand is looking horrible it's looking absolutely um I, okay i don't want to go too off on it but it's not it's not good it, it's not good uh, but something to note uh every character besides festivals will come level 80 so that is good right they'll come you are level 80 if you don't have them worked on, you will get them at that state. They won't come awakened, though. That, that's the only thing. I mean, getting them awakened isn't much of a problem anyway. But this is a good thing. And they should do this for every festival going forward. This UR level 80. I think this should be a reoccurring thing um, that they do. Because it really does help newer players. I, I think it's a very, very um, good step for progression, right? I, I really do feel like that. But anyway, let's go ahead and let's just get into it. So we got the banner. Now the banner itself is, again, like I said, it's not really that good. You have all the coin shop units or commandments on here, right? And I do think that having coin shop units on a banner is better than just straight up buying them with platinum coins. I, I think that's better, but Having the entire, like, basically half of the, more than half of the unfeatured or the featured SSRs besides the festival units, it, coin shot, it's just like, why? <laughs> I, I get it. It's a, a demon banner, right? Besides Sario, Termio, and Ludosio, I get that it's a demon banner, but it, it, it just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this banner, man, when I look at it, the only value that I see really is like they come level 80. That, that's the only thing. But if you've been playing for a long time, you probably have most, if not all of these characters level 80 at least, you know, like somewhat built. Very, I don't know, very weird choice. Again, the theme is demons, right? So it's not like, it's not exactly gonna be the best banner. Like the goddess banners like that are, that have that theme around them, they're gonna be so powerful. Cause you got red, green Sario, blue, red Tarmio, you got Ladocio, Margrasil, you have so many units that actually are good with a goddess themed banner. But then you get like, then you get this and, demons haven't had really much of any love right in pretty much over a year so like they got in a few here and there but i mean not not really enough to make me want to be like oh my god demons are crazy now this is a good step i i, I think this is a good step having the pretty much the is he the best pvp unit in the game probably um the best PvP unit in the game, Esterosa, with a really good demon team. This is a good step, right? They just need to add a few more demons, and you're, we're looking good. A backline demon would be nice, besides Zeldris. Um, Assault, Melee getting a, a Holy Relic would be good. We're probably going to get Ominous Nebula Zeldris, who I'm assuming is going to be a good partner for Assault Esterosa, right? So that's going to be good. But then again, like I said, you look at the value of the banner itself. There's not even really any demons you're going to want to run with Esterosa. Um, again, besides like Zelda's Assault, Melee, Chandler, maybe Kusak, right? There's not much you're going to want to run. You could make some quirky teams, right? You could put maybe like Malascula there. Um, you can't even use Esterosa because if you're using Assault Esterosa, you can't use them. Uh, maybe you could put, maybe you could use Droll. Droll would be pretty good. Would Dro yeah, Droll would be pretty good. Um, for the, for the top, well, no, because because he strips buffs. I don't know. Yeah, I I don't I don't know. Like this is gonna be a very weird setup. Uh, again, I think 
Assault Estorosa is going to be so powerful that it doesn't matter, right? With these units, it really won't matter. And maybe you could even use Glocks. I think using Glocks with Estorosa might be a might be the wave because you can block their rank two and rank three skills with Red Gloxinia. You can remove debuffs. You can heal. You can actually do a lot with Gloxinia. Now that I'm thinking about it, Gloxinia could be a really interesting option to keep with um, Estorosa yeah i like that we'll see though we'll, we'll, we'll see we'll see right but like i said this is very like very weird um like the list wait a minute okay for a minute i thought this was a different dairy i thought this was the summonable dairy area for a second there because she has a different name but it's probably just translated very weird um chandler esterosa that'd be pretty good i don't know why the four angels are <laughs> like why are the four archangels on here I guess because Ladosi, like, Margaret Seal's on here, right? Festival Ludo's on there, but still, it's... Okay, whatever. And these aren't... These aren't the... Like, these aren't the most recent Tarmion Sorrow either. They're red and blue. It, it, like, they're, they're not... They're not terrible, but they have aged. They have... They have aged. You definitely can tell, right? Um, all, all, Most of all of the if not all of these commandment coin shop commandments aged they're like they're just they're just aged again you can make some wonky setups but they, they've aged belly and just straight sucks he just straight sucks i don't care what anybody says he's just straight ass hendrickson like you're not gonna you're not gonna run him so overall like the again the value is not that, that good it, it really isn't if you if you want to skip i wouldn't blame you for skipping but he is really good right he is he is actually very very strong but again you're not really getting much value from the banner itself so it makes it a little hard to want to summon now we look at this obviously it's a 300 600 and 900 banner you can choose either of the festival units that you don't have or that you want whatever obviously you're gonna pick Estorosa because you don't have them if you don't pull them by then um and even then you want dupes for him so and Esther or uh, Meliodas and Zeldas have been on so many banners now I think that you probably have them with a few dupes and having zelda six out of six is not necessary he doesn't get an effect same thing with um assault melee he doesn't get an effect why does it say one under kus uh, uh, it might just be that you could choose one of these okay 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 reading into it too much um okay so yeah like i said 300 600 900 the value like it, it yeah it, it's just not there i don't know what else to say global players be smart i i guess maybe you want to wait and see what we're potentially getting because after this i think it's the download celebration right i think it's the download celebration after this so we look at the list and we have yeah after after the 2.5 anniversary we should be getting the 40 million or not 40 million but the next download celebration that's gonna be the next big um festival and that should come in september sometime sometime in september um is when we should see the next one so in september we should see like so around this date we should see the next big festival unit it, it will get like banners in between of course but we'll, we'll see what we're looking like so just plan it out right plan it out once we get into september that's when it's crunch time we could get a new collab we could get a rerun of a collab uh we could see some really strong units in here like there's so many things that we could see so i mean just again play it play it smart um right play it smart this is going to be what is this the uh would this be the 3.5 any yeah the 3.5 any for for jp is going to be around here too wow okay so yeah there's a few things coming up so just plan it out guys but let me know what you think about the banner are you going to summon global players are you going to summon jp players are you excited for esterosa um let me know what you think in the comments below i'm excited for esterosa but i'm a i'm i'm really sad that his banner is eh right so let me know what you guys think leave a like subscribe to the channel and as always you guys already know i'll see you all later